Hello everybody, welcome to this next episode of this Blind Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Right, last time we were in the Helm and Cloak in the northwest part of Baldur's Gate and we made some new friends and then we were attacked by some bullies and we promptly spanked their asses. Yeah! No match for us. Um, Eldoth's gone, as you can see. Good luck with that silly plan of his. And uh, yes, so we shall just um, have a wander around the helm and cloak. This is my kitchen! <laughs> okay, ah, sorry. Uh, we'll just have a wander around the helm and cloak. See if there's anybody of interest here. And then we'll head back and get these braces identified that we picked up in the battle last time. Right, what's this then? Uh, and carry on towards finding Duke Entar. So, hmm. What is here? Ooh, I'm intrigued by this. What's this painting? Davidoff's like, oh, I, I think we've, you I think right. we've come to the wrong right. room. Imran's like, la 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 la. <laughs> I'm gone. Actually, yep. let's get detecting traps. I've done had enough of this. No. I did try and detect traps. What the hell is that? Imoen? Oh, sorry. Go on. Sorry, coming. Sorted. Coming. Right, what's this then? Need another bloody rest now. You want some whiskey? Right, there we go. What's up this way then? Oh, everyone's stuck. I'm on it. I should have joined. Frightfully sorry, but this room is off limits for the time being. No offence intended, you understand. It's just that we've got a rather nervous guest who insists their room be kept under strictest lock and key. Frightfully sorry, but you cannot pass. Hmm. I'm very intrigued. Righto, fair enough, okay. Out I'm we go. Right. right then, let's just Sorted. hop and get these braces identified. Why does it do I that? These guys I always get stuck. Come on game, work with me here. Uh, right, which bit have we come out in? Well, actually, we can just pop to... We can just pop in here and get right, it identified, can't we? In we go! Temple of the Lady. Hello. Forgive me, but I have meditations to attend to. Right then. So, what is this? It is a battle axe of Morlatar plus two. Sounds awesome. Uh, during the Tethrian Civil War, the battle axe of Morlatar was in the possession of the House of Ossiand. This noble family was betrayed while trying to flee the country and Morlatar, lead guard and personal friend, took up the axe and sacrificed himself to buy enough time for his companions to flee. His battle cry was favoured by the gods and was echoed across the lands as a symbol of devoted friendship and loyalty. Thus, the magical axe was used to uphold these virtues against those who lacked honour and courage. Thaco plus two, 1d8 plus two. That's pretty sweet. Something worth 100 gold, though. I oh, know everything's a hundred gold. I suppose this is the identify cost, isn't it? I suppose. Wow, that's pretty, pretty nice. Um, sadly, uh, oh my Jew, is it? I don't know. I was just thinking to myself, you know, Khalid. We'll have to see what Khalid's got, but it's probably not different from what he, Khalid's got, and he's got the plus three proficiency in longsword. But he might be able to get some nice. Um, it's a nice gold for it, I suppose. 
What's this? Longsword plus one. Oh, how grossly anticlimactic. Imwin's like, psst, psst, can you just tell me what this is, please? What is it? Helmet of Balderan. The fabled Helm of Balderan, legendary founder of Baldur's Gate, has long been rumoured to wield powerful protective magic. The exact nature has not yet been determined. Thacko plus one, armor class plus one, saving throws plus one, hit points plus five, protects against critical hits. Oh my god. <laughs> what? E by gum. That's incredible. What about these? Braces of defense, armor class plus seven. Ugh. Thick bands, generally the magic, since most braces, exceptions do exist, blah, 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 blah. Armor class seven. Okay, so not that amazing, but could be pretty good for a wizard. Now, Imran's like, You're a queer fellow. Davidoff, you're like a big brother to me, and I love you so much that I've got you this. What? Where the hell did you get that from? Oh, I just, you know, I've. I didn't want to say anything, but whilst you guys were asleep at the helm and cloak, I, I popped to a local blacksmith. Really? But we haven't we haven't found a blacksmith yet, Imo. Where did, where where have you come across a blacksmith? Oh, Davidoff, why do you always honestly? All right, okay, I'll just I'll take the gift. Wow, flipping heck! It looks really shit. <laughs> but uh, you can't knock the stats. Thank you very much. Uh, right, let's have a look. Protects against critical hits. Infravision protects against critical hits. There you go, Khalid. Oh, thanks, Imowen. Watch it, I bet we run into someone now like, Isn't that the fabled... Where did you get that? And then Imowen will be like, Oh, sorry, I've made a boo-boo. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you want? I, I want everybody. Spit it out. You rang. Go on then. Come Sorted. on. Uh, right then. Back, back this way. Sorted. Wow, we. So yeah, Davidoff thinks that you know, Imwin's bought him this, the most amazing present ever. Imwin's like, like la 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 la. But uh, from a power gaming point of view, what a find! What a find! Thank you very much. Right, so where else do we still need to explore? Got to go around this way, and up here. I'm on it. Wow, we. So, in quite a short number of episodes, Davidoff has got those amazing uh, gloves. He's now got an amazing helm. Wow, feeling we're feeling pretty hench right now. Pretty hench indeed. Uh, hello. Hello there. Hello, you adventurers. Yes, we are. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Approach me not. I don't think you'll ruffle ruffle up us, son. Okay, can't go in there. Hello. Hello. Uh, the underseller. There's a few people banging on about this underseller place. Why do I think we're going to end up in there at some point? Oh, we can go in here. Hello? Right, what's this here? This looks very much like Sunin's house, doesn't it? Hello? Is is there anybody here? Hello? Where's your parents? Mom and Dad don't believe us, but there's a bogeyman that comes and looks in our window every... What? We'll, we'll gather the tins, because if there was one of us, there'd be no one to hold on to when we get scared. What? Leta and Louise. I don't believe in bogeymen, but I've seen enough in my travels to believe that there's something out there, and I don't like the sound of it. Don't you worry, girls. We're going to sort that out. Some fucking perverts peering through the window. Sorted. We'll not be having that. 
Where is your mum and dad? Where's it gone? That's uh, that's not very nice at all. Right, so we need to keep an eye out for a bogeyman somewhere around here when it gets dark. It's a bit, uh, bit scary, really, isn't it? Perverts hanging around, spying on kids. Hmm. Hmm. Approach me not. Right. Okay. What's this place? Entar Silver Shield Estate. We found his estate. Yay! We've done it. Mm, I might be a touch no, overweight, but you are a little more than a pointed never stick. <laughs> I didn't say anything about you, wait. Someone's Why, a little bit sensitive. Away with you! The guard will have you boiled in oil, or perhaps fricasseed in oil, with a lovely salmon that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, big pudding. Hello. How are you? If you'll excuse me, I really find that I have no reason to speak with a mangy group of dirty adventurers. Charming. Hello. Sorted. Life's been getting pretty. I've nothing of value way. of here. Okay. Only popping in. Only oh, knocked on. I did it? knock. You said hello. Come in. Open it. Anything here? Doesn't look like it, does it? There's a thin person inside me just screaming to get out. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, has anyone seen a bogeyman? We're looking for a pervert who likes to peer into girls' windows. Hello, pal. Hello, pal. Right, what's this then? You want some whiskey? Yes, please. Oh, an old one-eye beer. Quite like the sound of that. Thanks. Connolly Finn. Glad to make your acquaintance there, by golly. What might you be needing from old Connolly Finn? A tale of treachery, I miss the nobles, or a bit of back-alley skullduggery? I hear many things while tipping a bit of ale. Ah. Oh. So, um, what do you know about the Iron Throne who've moved into town? The Iron what? I know little of merchants and business. Tales of stuffy old storekeeps don't make for good ale tales. Now, if you'd wanted a ribald story of a noble lass and the gutter snipe roast about she was seeing on the slide, then I could have helped you. Nothing more than fluff to entertain for a moment or more. Okay then, well tell me what tell me what's been going on. What have people been saying at the bar? Oh, we've many a tale of the underseller, and those that try to go there unseen. Oft was the time I bumped against a patron so as to accidentally dropped the hood from their face. More disreputable folk than I have made quite a tidy living soliciting donations from those that wish to remain anonymous. I would advise against the practice, however. If they can afford to pay ye, they can also afford to have someone else remove ye. Alright. Sounds very dodgy. Yes? Commoner. What's up here? Sorted. Hello. You need something, stranger? Boronol, man. Hail and well met, young'un. Have you come to old Boronol for a tale or two of life in the realms, or are you just stalling about? Uh. Yes, I'm just strolling about. Have you have you got any interesting things to say? Oh, I have tales. Whether they're interesting or not is a matter of debate. Yeah, fair enough. I suppose. I could share one with you, though it's likely to have no bearing on anything of importance. Nothing at all to be gained from the telling, save a moment of time well spent. Oh, go on. We'll humour an old man. I mean, it's, for, it's up to us to decide whether it's important. I shall, then. It was the dawning of a new year, and Chester Blackboot and I were off to rally our friends and storm the gates of the old Firewine ruins. I've been there! Vella Stablehand was at the head. She was the eldest, you understand. We pretty much agreed that she would take point and absorb most of the initial damage were we attacked. Huh! <laughs> oh, charming! I mean, I'm all for equality, don't get me wrong, but what happened to chivalry? Sending a woman first to get beat? Honestly. Of course, Vela had a father's axe too, and that made her an imposing sight at the forefront. She was tall as a pine and could deliver a backhand like you were so much silt on the breeze. I remember a time when she and Chester, this was Chester Allendale, no relation to the Black Boots, and a good thing too. 
Them black boots had no patience for Vella and her shenanigans. Well, Chester and Vella were spelunking in the old caster. What? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> spelunking in the spelunk. I'm gonna I'm gonna start throwing that out there in regular speech. I think that's my new favourite word. Spelunking. At least that's what the kids called it in those days. And her father comes up, and by golly, fella up and belts Chester so hard he didn't hit the ground for a week. Fella's father sees this and laughs so hard he plum forgets he's mad. He's like that, though. And the day he passes up a good joke will be the day he passes on entirely. I remember a time... Um... Yes, a rousing tale, that's great. If you say so, young'un. Right-o, my friend. Goodbye. <laughs> Anybody else interesting in here? Mm. Yep. Hello. Everyone's like, yeah, just you, you just try and only ask. You just try and find somebody. And there's nothing in there. You rang. Okay. Everybody out. What's this then? Although, who's this chap? You're a long tongued lout, ain't you? And uh, nobody is who Can this I chap is. Do my best? No, no, no. Come on, I'm e on it. Everybody out. Uh, right, I'm okay. Oh, fair enough. Okay, what time is it? No, that's not what I want. I want to know what time is it? Um, what's this? Hmm. What's that? Uh, I just don't know. Spit it out. It looks like night time. I really want to sort this bogeyman out. It's kind of, you know, I find that quite perturbing. It's not very nice at all. Let's have a look, where are we? What's that? Quinn's. Quinn's house. Who the hell's Quinn? Hello, Quinn? I think this was locked, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, he's, he's obviously somebody important, I suppose, but... Can't get in there and meet him yet. So we're here. Hello. Yes. Ain't you those heroes from down south? Yes, we are. Good, good to meet you. Being called heroes now. Oof. <laughs> Feels kind of cool. Uh, right. So there's some sort of horrible person hanging round here. Let's have a look. Let's stop off in the tavern. If we rest up for, let's say, three or four hours, it might go dark, and then we can try and catch this bogeyman. I'm on it. You want some whiskey? Yeah, we'll just have a quick rest. Okay, so that's that's eight hours. Okay, so now it's night time. Can we find this it. bogey person who's peering in the window? Okay, so there's no there's nobody here. Have they had the balls to creep inside? I'm on it. Where have the where have the twins gone? There's one of them. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Where where is this bogeyman? I want my mommy. Hmm. 
Okay, so not here that we can see. Leave us alone, will you? Nothing for you here. My name is Javis, and as you can tell, I'm a mage. The two young girls within the fateful room face a dark and unsearching future. They have already come under the eye of a powerful druid who goes by the name of Voltine. She has polymorphed herself into what I know not in an effort to infiltrate the house and abduct the twins in the night. Please believe me, Voltine must be found or the twins are in grave danger indeed. Journal updated. Old Javis, who claims to be watching over a pair, has asked me to seek out a killer druid named Voltine. There is still something that disturbs me about all this, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. Who's that? Yeah? Voltine. Hmm, how important of you to spy on a lady as she's changing. My name is Voltina Bulai, but you may call me Voltine if you wish. There's a dirty old mage in these parts. His name's Javis, and he lurks around at night, peering in through people's windows. As it is a hobby you seem to share, may I presume that you are close acquaintances? Journal updated. Voltine, a shape-changing druid, claims that Javis is a m malevolent voyeur. Well, I got off to a bad start with Voltine. I sense she is the one telling the truth. Okay. I sense that she's telling the truth. That's what my gut is telling me. You rang. Right, pervert. Right. I think that's absolutely disgusting. Leave us alone, will you? It is a graveyard shift, is it not? I pray you find Voltine before she makes her move. Everybody? Well, my actually. My father was a miner, and my mother was a miner before him. Why are mages always so dodgy? Everybody! Charge! Chihira, why don't you cast rigid thinking? You rang, sorted. We'll take that and that. Yeah. So, you have proved yourself to be of use after all. As I told you, Gervais was a dirty old man. This city is safer without him. Here, allow me to give this one as a thank you for services rendered. The party has gained an item. <laughs> you scared away the bogeyman, didn't you? Here, Mum says to give this scroll. I think it's supposed to protect you from other bogey people you find. Okay. Where's the other little little lass gone? <laughs> ah, okay, so we've Protection from evil. Right oh, thanks. And some awesome looking wand, which nobody in our party can use, of course. Um Man, we definitely need a mage, man. We need a mage. Because uh, Jahira can't use these either, can she? No. Uh, it's so so frustrating. Go on then. Okay, well, we've done some good there. I feel quite feel quite good about that. Let's have a look. What does our journal say about it? It's gone. It's another done quest. Can you believe it? The bogeyman won't bother those girls anymore. And we actually helped the right person this time. Yay! <laughs> I just have one more chat with Volty. Right, what's this then? Yeah? I'm afraid you've done all you can for me. Right, okay. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Right, off to uh, off to Duke Entar's estate, I think. I think that's what we need to do now. Entar Silver Shield Estate. Oh, we finally found it! Yay! Right, 
Right, off we go. I thought it was going to be in here somewhere, but obviously not. Right, let's go see what Duke Entar Silver Shield can offer us. But, of course, we'll have to do that next time. Da -da -da -da. Cliffhanger! Way. See you next time, guys. Bye!